Last day we had a quick start on Adobe Premiere Pro and I hope you have enjoyed that video. If you haven't watched that video yet, then you can watch that video from here. And from today, we are going to start our regular video. I mean, from today, I'm going to show you step by step tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro, how you can use it, different features of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro first. So here is the welcome screen of Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, I will teach you how you can make a new project on Adobe Premiere Pro and how the new import feature works on Adobe Premiere Pro. If you are using Adobe 2020-20 version, then you will get this screen and if you are using a previous version then this welcome screen will look different i will highly suggest you to update the adobe premiere pro version so that you can follow along with me so first let's see what we have here so first there is a button which is called new project if we click here we can make a new project and after that we will get a option which is open project if you have download any project from anywhere or if you want to open any existing project then you can click open project and from here you can open any existing project from your computer and below to that section we'll have two button which is home button this is the home screen and if we click learn then we'll get different tutorials on adobe premiere pro so we can develop the skills so we don't need that let's click on home and after that we'll get a button which is new team project team project is a premiere pro project where you are going to work with different people together on a project if you are working with a team then you can make a new team project and you can work on this project together at a time and after that we'll have a button which is open team project if you have a existing team project you can open that project from here and lastly you can open any premiere pro rush project if you are using android or ios device and if you are using rush adobe premiere pro rush there then you can open that project from here and this is a section where you will see your all existing projects suppose i have worked on this project yesterday which is my first project if i want to open that project i can click here then you can see the project is loading i can continue working on this project from here let's close it so these are your project that you have worked recently and after that you will see a option which is your adobe creative cloud account if you click here then that will take you to the adobe creative cloud account on a web browser and here is a button where you can see the latest feature of adobe premiere pro if i click here then i can see what premiere pro have added recently on their program so you can have a look on that and lastly if you want to search any project then you can search it from here so first let's make a new project i'm clicking here then i'm making a new project name pre premiere pro course then you can save the project file on a specific folder if you want click here which is project location click here and then click choose location then it will open your file browser then navigate where you want to save it i'm just making a new folder here then again i am making a new folder for the premiere profiles which is premiere pro then i am clicking select folder and after that you'll see all of your hard disks here if you want to browse your footage you can browse the footage from here suppose i want to go to a section where i have saved the footages i'm going to this folder and then here then this folder this folder contains some clips so when you are making a new project if you want you can directly import footages on your project suppose i want to import some clips from this folder if i want to have a preview then i can just scroll through this clip then it will show me the preview of that clip again if i scroll it will show the preview i'm selecting this clip then selecting this clip maybe this clip and this clip and now on the right side you will say import settings suppose i'm recording this video on a camera right so when i'm going to edit this video i have to copy the video file from my camera to my computer right so if you want you don't need to copy the video file on your computer before you start editing if you want you can take the help of adobe premiere pro to copy the file from your camera so suppose i have connected my camera and this is the folder where the camera footage have been saved right so i have selected these files i want to input these files on my project so from the input settings you can click copy media then if you click here on this arrow you'll see some option which is copy with mds verification i will highly suggest you to check this box which is copy with mds verification so that 
you don't lose the files and then copied file destination where you want to save the files after being copied right so click here then select choose location or you can select use project destination so i am selecting use project destination and then if you want you can make a new bin out of your copied files right i am selecting here which is new bin and if you want you can rename that bin i am naming it clips and lastly create a new sequence if you want to make a pre-built sequence you can make that from here i'm not going to make a new sequence i'm just disabling it and then if you click create it will make a new project and it will copy the media files in a new location where you have saved it see here is the clips and again it will open adobe media encoder to copy the files from that destination to the new project destination if i go to the project destination this is our new destination so you can see there is not any file present here so media encoder is copying the files let's wait for a few minutes and see what media encoder do so you can see media encoder have copied the files here so the interesting thing is if you are going to copy the files from your camera if you use this feature it will going to copy the files from your camera until it finish the copying you can use those footage to edit your videos after finishing the copying process it will automatically relocate the new destination so that you don't have any interruption between the editing process you don't need to waste any time while the file is being copied that is the interesting thing of this process i don't use that feature a lot what i do let me show you i'm just closing the project so when i'm working i really click here which is new project and i just give it a name my project then i select the destination folder where i want to save the project and then i deselect this copy media and uncheck this new bin then i click create that will make a new project without copying any files i like to input the files while i edit that is why i don't copy any files when i'm making a new project so that is all that is the whole process how you can make a new project in adobe premiere pro 2020 if you have any questions you can write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer those questions i'll teach you how you can import media files in adobe premiere pro on our next class if you don't want to miss that episode then please subscribe to this channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye